Hello everyone, using the BioAxel building block library, we will walk through the process of protein ligand docking step by step today. The mitogen activated protein kinase 14 is a well known protein kinase enzyme is shown in association with the FDA approved imitinib. Imitinib is a small chemical kinase inhibitor that is used to treat cancer. The lecture will walk you through identifying the active site cavity and predicting the protein ligand combination without any prior knowledge. Please keep in mind the docking calculation, mainly the outer dog vena tool used in this tutorial are not deterministic. As a result, the results obtained throughout the work process may differ from those obtained during the composition of this instructive exercise. For more information, you can read Autodoc Vina Manual. We encourage you to try the docking interaction a few times to ensure that There are three input parameters needed. First parameter is PDB code of the experimental complex structure. The P38 structure in association with the imitinib medication was solved experimentally and deposited in the PDB database under the 3HEC PDB code in this case. After stripping the small molecule, the protein structure from this PDB file will be utilized as a target protein for the docking procedure. As a target protein, an APO structure or any other structure from the P38 cluster could be employed. This protein ligand complex structure will also be used in the tutorial's final stage to see how near the generated docking pose is to the non-experimental structure. Second parameter is ligand code for the small molecule. In this particular example, the small molecule chosen for the tutorial is the FDA approved drug imitinib. PDB code of uh, imitinib is STI. Imitinib is a type of cancer growth blocker that is used in different types of leukemia. And the third parameter is pocket directory. It's a name of a folder to write temporary files. Second step is fetching PDB structure. You can download PDB structure with the protein molecule from the PDB database. You can also use the PDB file as a starting structure. In the third step, we now let's visualize our downloaded PDB structure using NGL. You can see imitinib small molecule STI and the detergent beta octyl glucoside BOG here. In the third step, we will extract our protein structure from the downloaded PDB file by removing any extra molecule like ligands, ions, water molecules. We will use this protein structure as a target in the protein ligand docking process. Now let's visualize the downloaded PDB structure again. As we can see, small molecules included in the original structure are now gone. The new structure only contains the protein molecule, which will be used as a target for the protein ligand docking. The next step is to use the f pocket tool to compute the protein cavities. The docking algorithm will then use these cavities to find the best region of the protein surface where the small molecule can bind. We already know the binding site region in this case, with the protein ligand complex structure in which the 
ligand was bound in the same binding site as imidineve. However, this is not always the case. If we don't know these locations, a pocket can help us figure out where our target protein might bind. The lowest and maximum radius that alpha spheres can have in a binding pocket can be modified using the app pocket input parameters. In this example, the minimum radius is 3 angstrom and the maximum radius is 6 angstrom. In addition, the minimum number of alpha spheres required for a pocket to be included in the result has been increased to 35. For further details, consult the F book. Examining the JSON files F pocket output. In the JSON output, each pocket has its own record with information such as score, drugability score, volume, hydrophobicity, polarity, and flexibility. Filtering the F pocket identified protein cavities. In this case, the largest cavities are chosen with a volume between 800 and 2000 Armstrong which is large enough to fit the input tiny molecule. Extract selected pockets. In this step, we are going to extract selected pockets. After extraction, we will write the information in the pockets directory folder. It will also save the PDB files and PQR files. Visualizing selected pockets. Using the and using the NGL viewer visualizes the selected pockets from the filtered list. Randomly colored surfaces represent the protein residue that make up the cavity. A blue colored mesh represents the pockets. A floating label distinguishes the several pockets. Select pocket. To employ in the docking method, select a specific pocket from the filtered list. If a pocket has found the proper binding site, which we know from the initial protein ligand structure, all that is left is to pick it. The pocket number 6 is the one that we are interested in this scenario. From the drop down menu, select a pocket, extra pocket cavity. From the F pocket is a desired protein cavity. In the next stage, it will use to create the docking box, generating cavity box. To be used in the docking technique, create a box around the specified protein cavity. The box indicates the area on the protein target surface where the docking algorithm should look for a possible ligand dock. To construct a large enough box to fit the tiny molecule and its various rotation, a 12 angstrom offset is used. Visualizing binding side box in 3D structure. Using the NGL viewer, you can see the protein structure, the selected cavity and the produced box all at once. Checking that the specified cavity is positioned in the same region as the, the same region as the original ligand using the original structure with the tiny ligand inside downloading a small molecule the chosen small molecule to be employed in the docking technique is downloaded the FDA approved medicine imitinive with the PDB code STI is the small molecule of interest in this case. Converting small molecule using the open Babel chemoinformatics tool converts the relevant small molecule to be used in the docking technique from SDF to PDB format. Preparing small molecule for docking. Preparing the structure of a small molecule for docking, Autodoc Vina requires the conversion of a PDB file to a PDB QT file format. That is, Autodoc PDB QT protein data bank with partial charge 
and atom types. So PDVQT stand for protein data bank, Q stand for partial charges and T stand for atom types. Every atom receives partial charges and atom coins as part of the process. Furthermore, the ligand flexibility is also defined in the file's contents. The rigid and rotable parts of the ligands are represented by the idea of a torsion tree. The rotable bonds are characterized by a rigid component with zero or more rotable pieces dangling from the root, visualizing small molecule. Using the NGL viewer, visualize the drug that will be docked to the target protein. PDB formatted file with all hydrogen atom on the left panel. Formatted file with a united atom model. Only polar hydrogens are placed in the structures to correctly type heavy atoms as hydrogen bond donor. Preparing target protein for docking. The target protein structure is being prepared for the docking operation. Converting a PDB file to a PDBQT file which autodoc Vina requires. The method like the proceeding phase assign partial charges and atom types to each target protein atom. However, although autodoc Vina offers some limited flexibility of chosen receptor site chains, we do not account for receptor flexibility running the docking using the provided files to run the provided files to run the docking processes ligand target protein and binding site box visualizing docking output poses using the ngl viewer visualize the produced docking poses for the ligand on left panel we have docking poses with partial charges colored atoms and liquoric representation. While on right panel we have a ball and a stick illustration of docking poses with atoms colored by element. Select docking pose. For visual inspection choose a specific docking pose from the output list. From the drop down menu select a docking pose. Extract a docking pose. From the docking results, extract a specific docking pose. Converting to PDB format. Creating a PDB file from a ligand poster. Superposing ligand pose to the target protein structure. To visualize the protein ligand docking conformation, superpose the ligand position to the target protein structure. Creating a new PDB file that includes both the target and the ligand structures. Comparing final result with experimental structure. Using the NGL viewer, visualize and compare the produced protein ligand complex to the actual protein ligand conformation. Experimental pose with lycoric element colored representation while docking pose in lycoric a green colored image because autodoc vena uses a united atom model the programs of united 